watching Eyewitness News Daybreak on the CW7 with Gretchen Ross, Joe Bird, and meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Welcome back this Thursday morning at 740. And last month, we brought you stories how the House of Bread and Peace was forced to evacuate residents after a water leak damaged the building. Those stories caught the attention of students at Bossy High School who are part of the Rotary-sponsored service club, Interact. So joining us now is the president of the club, Kaylee Lester, and PR chair, Krista King, with the details of the fundraiser for the nonprofit. So good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for good joining us here. So, so what really got you interested in really helping out the uh, House of Bread and Peace there, Kaylee? Okay. Well, so we actually saw in the news that they had had the water damage. Yeah. And so then Krista had brought it up at a meeting. And um, after that, we, we've all year we talked about wanting to do something to help with like pe homeless people and people struggling. And we also talked about the fact that, you know, we need to focus on helping people who are homeless, not only during the cold seasons, but right. they need help during the warmer times too. Absolutely, it's a great point. So what have you all decided to do and what are you doing currently? Well, we decided to do a fundraiser for the House of Bread and Peace. Our motto is to lend a hand and change a life. Mm -hmm. We decided to collect things that are very needed, like deodorant, soap, and hand sanitizer. Yeah, like um, it's going to be a bag like this that okay. we're going to try to put together about 30 of them because they hold about 30 people at a time in there. Okay. So we want to try to have at least one bag for each person. And in it, and like in this bag right now, there's um, a comb, lotion, toothbrush and toothpaste, shampoo and conditioner, a bar of soap, deodorant, chapstick, a mini hand sanitizer, some pads and tampons and a washcloth. And then we also want to put together um, a couple larger like laundry baskets that are going to have some bigger items like fabric softener, laundry detergent, and things like that that will go for like the whole place sure. and not the individual families. That's great. And we were just showing video of the stories that we covered right. about this. We yeah. covered yeah. this story. Um, so it's good to see that our work is, is prompting sure. young people <laughs> to get involved and get back. And it's just really great to see high school students stepping up like this, being a part of this Interact Club. How can the community help you? I know that it's kind of coming to an end collecting things, but how can they get involved? Well, we have an Amazon wish list posted okay. on our Facebook that's just Bossy Interact. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. and there's QR codes for that. Everything from bulk items to individual deodorants, mm -hmm. and you can also make cash donations if you'd like straight to Bossy High School um, under Bossy Interact. Or um, checks could also be no donated too, and they would just need to be made out to the Bossy High School Interact Club. Mm -hmm. And it, um, well, I guess this fundraiser is going to be ending soon, and we will stop um, like collecting and stuff for this. We any extra money and stuff we have will still be used for the next fundraiser or anything. So even if people wanted to donate for future fundraisers, they could. So fill us in for folks that may not know what what is the Interact Club? What is your your purpose? The Interact Club is a service-based club. We're student-led and we're sponsored by the Evansville Morning Rotary. Mm -hmm. So it gives us a great opportunity to have mentorship from them and we just take part in a lot of service projects and just getting the youth involved with the community. And then another big part of it too is while we're doing the service is learning about the leadership aspect of it. Right. And we want to, as a Rotarian, we're very excited <laughs> to have you. So get you involved young in high school. You can do this in college. You can go to Rotaract and Rotary. And I, yeah. I met Krista and a, and a few others just having lunch at the district conference <laughs> over the weekend. So impressed with, with her and all of the students there involved. I was like, you got to come on the show and, and talk about it. So um, what, what's maybe your next project? What are maybe some other nonprofits you're thinking about working with? Um, well, in the past, we know we want to do something for um, the local firefighters and Great. like uh, emergency service people again soon. And then we also teacher appreciation is coming up soon. So we want to do something for our teachers as well. And then we talked about during the summer trying to um, get together somewhere on a park and clean the park and then make like hot dogs or something just for the people that, you know, are just yeah. there and come. Right. Just so, yeah. bringing, ladies are busy. Bringing. Future mayors of Evansville right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's very exciting. It's a very exciting club. Yeah. I think we have a great support system in our club. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Kaylee and Chris, I want to ask both of you, what made you want to join Interact and serve our community? Well, um, I'm born and bred in Evansville, and I've always felt like I should be giving back. I should be doing something for the people that have always done things for me. So I think it's so important just to feel the sense of community and I joined in freshman year, knew nobody, so it really gave me an opportunity to flourish friendships and Aww. meet new people. Yeah. 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 And for me, I feel like I've just been through a lot in my life, and I just love the feeling of giving back, and I love meeting new people and mm -hmm. just really getting, and like, and at Boston, I feel like we really are a family, and like, so when we come together for Interact Club, it's more than just, oh, we're coming together to do service. Like, we're like, we're a family. We work yeah. really hard together, and it's so great to take our family and try to go out and like, show other people. 
Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Future of uh, this right. community right, right, right here. Yeah. And thanks. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully this will inspire other people, other students your age, yeah. to give back as well as mm. the rest of the community. And every little bit helps to make change in our community. So thanks for stopping by, ladies. Thanks for having thanks us. For Thank you for work. having us. Thank yeah. you so much. We'll be right back. Ron's got the forecast.